Hey, hey everyone, we're Sean and Steph, and today we're talking about all things Royal Caribbean Symphony of the Seas. What? 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 All right, well, let's start off with some ship facts. Oh, yeah. Symphony was built in 2018 and is currently the largest cruise ship in the world. Just how large is the largest cruise ship? Well, Symphony is 1,188 feet long. To put that into perspective, that's a little over three football fields long. Whoa. What? Symphony can hold a little over 6,600 guests at full capacity and has 2,200 crew on board. Symphony is an Oasis class ship and is the sister ship to the Allure of the Seas, Oasis of the Seas, and Harmony of the Seas. Symphony has 16 public decks, 10 complimentary dining options, 10 specialty restaurants, seven distinct neighborhoods, four pools, and 42 bars and lounges. What? That is a lot. That is a lot. I, yeah. think, I think ship tour day took us a minute, didn't it? <laughs> it took us a little bit of time. Whew. So what did we think about Symphony? Keep watching and we'll let you know. All right, first up is the ship design. And what I want to start with is the art. It's everywhere. Everywhere. Oh Just my gosh. gorgeous art all over the ship. The art collection embodies the theme, the wonder of our world, a journey into the unimaginable. Yeah, so that's Royal Caribbean's theme for this ship. Um, it's really, really cool. Um, there's art everywhere, all over. Everywhere. Like it just every time you go you around a corner, there's a new art piece. I love that. It was just really neat to see all the different things. And it was kind of cool just to walk around and be like, ooh. Ooh, well that's strange. Ooh, that's kind of cool. You know, just kind of like a walking art exhibit. It was kind of neat. Some of them are huge. Oh my gosh, some of them are humongous. And some of their sculptures are crazy, 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 crazy. All right, so talking about the layout, um, crowd control, considering there's 6,600 of your closest friends on board, uh, <laughs> is actually remarkably smooth. Uh, it's, yes. I've been on smaller ships with much bigger problems and I've been, you know, I'm, I'm very happy with how they handle their crowd control. They do. There's a lot of a lot of ways to get to one place, and yeah. that's very nice. So instead of having everybody funnel, like, say, on three decks, like some ships have, you can go in, in a number of different a directions. Myriad, yeah. So when you're having all those people going different directions and getting to a place, it doesn't all happen at the same time. It's very nice for crowd control. So it keeps everybody going in different ways and different directions. And now, I will say this, uh, Symphony, Symphony of the Seas is not a miracle ship. It is not magic. It, 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 it does not, not it is not ex exempt from the crazy that is cruising. And what am I talking about? The elevators. elevators. The elevators are just Thanks. as crazy as they are on any other ship. And there are times of the day where people just feel like, let's see just how many clowns we can get in this car. So, you know, you're gonna run into the big elevator issues. Our humble recommendation is if you're able-bodied, if it's three decks up or down in, a, in either direction, just take the stairs. You'll yes. get there a lot quicker. That's you true. can actually just sit there by the elevator and go, yo, what took you so long? <laughs> yes, that's true. It is a nightmare. It's a nightmare on any ship. Um, elevators just on cruise ships in general are yeah. typically terrible um, as far as getting on. They're great to transportation if you can get one, but just getting on one is very difficult. Um, so yeah, if you can walk two to three decks, definitely walk it, definitely yeah. recommend it. Yeah. All right, we also love the distinct neighborhoods. So cool. Oh my gosh, let's Central Park, what? I mean, yeah, there's a, uh, there's a park. There's a park. A park. It's like something out of a movie. And it's not like a room, like you think on a cruise ship, yeah. okay, I'm gonna go to the Central Park room and yes. it's gonna be all nice and themed and look, at here's a bush. No, no. No. You walk into a park that's bigger than most parks that I hang out in now. I don't hang out in parks though, so I'm not a park kind of guy. But you know <laughs> what I'm saying? This is a huge chunk of real estate on yes. a ship and it's got a, amazing live music, amazing theming, great bars, amazing restaurants i mean you can spend your day in this place you can it's real what's really cool is they have sounds that are actually oh, yeah. recorded <laughs> i found this out the hard way yep. thank you fans um but they have sounds so in the daytime they have bird sounds and then at so night cool. they have crickets mm -hmm. and they have lightning bug lights that go on um at night it's just the most amazing kind oh, yeah. of feeling Gorgeous lights and atmosphere it's just it's so cool so uh, so cool and it's 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 awesome during the day and just yes. stunning at night so. oh my gosh yes um we also love the boardwalk gotta put oh, that yeah. in there Come that's on. a great Steph neighborhood loves the boardwalk why they have a complimentary carousel Woo -woo. It's complimentary. We did not know. We went on Allure of the Seas for the first time. We had no idea. Mm -hmm. We're like, oh, we're going to save the carousel to the end. We'll save that, you know, that charge. Would be we thought really it would be fine. like five bucks or something. Yeah, like five dollars. Nope. It was free. It was complimentary. You can go as many times as you want. So she did. And I did. <laughs> so great. I love it. Oh my gosh, they also have great live music there that plays. The best. They do a, they usually do a festival, like a boardwalk day, which is really fun mm -hmm. where they have popcorn and they have music and they have all this kind of stuff, which is like a boardwalk, mm -hmm. which is really, really fun. Um, it's a great place to hang out and spend the day. I know on, Sym on Symphony they have Playmakers, on some of the other ships they have other things there. Mm -hmm. It's really, really cool. So definitely go check that out. It's very, very fun. It's 
I mean, there's no other kind of ship on the planet that does this, so it's a unique experience. So if you don't feel like just sitting on a, a vast open deck in a chair next to three or 400 other people, head on down to the boardwalk for a completely different experience. Yep, so next up with our neighborhoods would be the promenade. Oh yeah. Now, a lot of people refer to the promenade as a big mall. And it kind of has that feeling, but at the same time, it doesn't. It doesn't really feel yeah, like a mall really. to me. Yeah, not really. Only when they're doing like a big giveaway where, you know, once or twice on the ship, they're, they're doing something like everything's 10 bucks. Yeah, you're going to find just a complete mob of people. Yes. The other time you're going to find a complete mob of people is when they have a flash mob. <laughs> Which is so fun to watch. Right. It's scheduled, so by the way. It is so, scheduled. It's you know, on wrap, the schedule. But wrap it is wrap fun your head around that one. Fun to watch it. But yeah, but, but it's not, it's just not, there's just so much fun restaurants and just places to hang. And of course, there's the Rising Tide Bar in there. Love the Rising Tide Bar. We're really hoping that they eventually adopt the 70s party oh gosh, that they yes. have on Allure. They have where you, we did it and you get that. It's a special private event. Mm -hmm. um, it has, they have like things that you get to wear, like custom light up snacks stuff, and cocktails. snacks and cocktails. Yeah, it's so cool. So we're hoping they do that. But if not, you ask them. I did ask them. That they're not quite there yet because Symphony is a new ship, but they do have the Rising Tide Bar, which is so fun. It takes a half an hour to go from the promenade all the way to Central Park. So it's just a really cool way to sort of see the whole promenade, watch everything going on, and you get a little ride. So it's kind of fun. It's kind of cool. All right. Next up is the food. What? The food. Oh, my. How were the restaurants on Symphony of the Seas? Oh, my gosh. You have Come to just. Come on now. Oh. Come oh, on now. Oh, I'm so mm, hungry. Mm. Um, All right, so oh. before we before we get to our favorites, we gotta go. We gotta do this proper now. We gotta do this proper. So starting with the complimentary food. Yes. So we have to. This is and this part's insane. We have to mention that there are ten options. Seriously, ten options of, of complimentary food. Yes, and because there are ten options. We did not have the chance to try them all. No. So we're going to talk about what we did actually try, and then we're going to list the other options at the end of this list. For sure. So first up is the Windjammer, yeah. which is the main buffet, mm -hmm. right? It's okay. The buffet is okay. It's good. Yeah. Uh, we ate here um, on the first, actually, we only ate here once. We ate here on the first morning for breakfast. Uh, we are not buffet people. We don't like the crowds. It's usually chaotic. We and people do questionable things, put yes. their hands on yeah. things, drop things. You know, so I just don't want to see that, you know. It, it was a good breakfast. It was typical. It had the yeah. typical food. All right. yeah. um, everything was cooked well. Um, it's a great place to go if you're in a hurry and you want to eat fast. Yeah. Um, but there is one cool thing about the buffet on Symphony. You got to go check out the stairs. <laughs> oh, yeah. There may be a piano stairs there. They might be magic stairs. <laughs> magic stairs. Seriously, there's fun around every corner on the ship. Go check out the stairs by the buffet. You won't be disappointed. They're really, really cool. So cool. So if you're like us and you don't like crowds, I know that's funny. We're talking about the largest cruise ship in the world and, and, and in the same breath saying, you know what? We don't really like the crowds. <laughs> so uh, how do we how do we you know handle that nonsense? Well, we found out this amazing alternative called El Loco Fresh. Oh, my gosh. El Loco Fresh is the, it's a little teeny buffet. You would, you would never know you it's would there. You would never know it's there. It's located in the back of the ship right next to the basketball courts. Mm -hmm. uh, they serve breakfast and lunch. So their lunch is going to be very typical to Blue Cantina on, if you've been on a very carnival so. ship, yeah. where they should serve the fajita does in the taco salads and all that stuff but for breakfast which was our favorite was actually my favorite because they served huevos rancheros they were amazing if you don't know what huevos rancheros are they are it's a fried egg on top of a tortilla shell with salsa so Ooh. it may sound really weird but it is the best flavors ever and they had it um which was great for sean and i because i got that and then they had regular buffet food as well so they have your scrambled eggs your bacon your sausage they even do omelets there mm -hmm. um and they also have a great selection of breads and fruit uh, it was never crowded it was never crowded never crowded and and they have a soda machine right there yep so if you have the drink pass uh like we did we just you know brought our cups to breakfast and boom you get to have uh, water or lemonade or soda whatever you want it's great so convenient to have that all right there i mean you really you were addicted i believe oh, we did that breakfast from that point forward did we not we did yeah <laughs> Every I mean, night. that's how good it was you're not going to get stephanie to repeat something unless it's awesome and then if it is awesome that's all she's going to do so kudos to a local fresh Okay, moving on to another restaurant that we really did enjoy, Park Cafe. Yes. So Park Cafe is located in Central Park, as mm -hmm. you could probably imagine, Park Cafe. Um, it became our favorite lunch spot because sure. they have fresh salads the where they salads mix the ever. salads for you. Oh. oh, so good. They also have soup and sandwiches there as well. Mm -hmm. um, they do serve breakfast. I think we had breakfast here one of the mornings that wasn't the buffet, and I was so mad because we didn't go to El Loco Fresh. We're yeah. like, well, let's try something it new. Was, it was, well, <laughs> let's do something new for the vlog, let's right? Let's do something new. Well, it was straight chaos. So. It was, it, it's very, very busy in yeah. there for lunch and breakfast, especially, especially if it's a port day. They serve 
of things for breakfast, like breakfast sandwiches, like mm -hmm. egg sandwiches, bagels, panini stuff, panini stuff, cereals, mm -hmm. um, yogurt, that kind of stuff. They also have a big coffee station, their complimentary coffee station. Huge. So there's always a lot of people in there. And they do have a soda machine in there as well, mm -hmm. which is very convenient. But it does get very, very busy. So I so, recommend eating an early or yes. late lunch or an early or late breakfast. Yeah, because, avoid those peak oof, hours and yeah. you won't have any of that Especially stress. Especially on port days. That's, it's jammed on port days. Yes, very much so. Okay, coming up next is something that I can't participate in. Sadly, it was Sorrento's. Yes, yeah, Sorrento's is located in the promenade, so inside on that mall-looking area. Uh, they serve pizza and antipasta, which mm -hmm. is great. It's open 24 hours a day. Um, this is okay. It's not the best. It's Look, really if you're if you're if you're if you're, if you're drunk, probably that's the best pizza you've ever had. But honestly, <laughs> yes. we've been on ships that have had way better pizza and. It's the kind of thing where I don't get to participate because I can't order anything uh, special. I, I can't have cheese, so uh, pulling the cheese off does not work for me. It's just not the best. It's okay. Good. If you're starving and there's nothing yeah. else available, maybe, maybe. So my thing is, we I think we went there once or twice. There's a soda machine there as well. So when you're getting soda and you're smelling all the pizza smells, it's, it's kind of convenient just to grab a slice, and that's kind of what I would do. When In my humble opinion, it smells better than it, than it, it tastes. It does, um, but yeah, so you just grab a slice. I mean, you're on vacation, right? Yeah, so you I mean, just grab kind yourself of a slice. Enjoy. It's kind of nice. Yeah. But it isn't the best, so. But it's good for a quick meal yeah. or even a late night snack. It's not terrible. It's not no. the worst pizza I've had on a cruise ship, no. but it's definitely not the best. <laughs> yes. All right, next up is the Cafe Promenade. Okay, it's located in the Promenade, again, same, the same place that Sorrento's is. Um, they serve specialty coffee, which means it's a paid for coffee, mm -hmm. but they also have snacks, ship snacks. Ship snacks, everybody. That are complimentary. So they have cakes and cookies, small sandwiches, a lot of people do not know that they're that that is there. They think it's only for the paid for coffee, but there are usually there's two lines, yeah. and there's one for coffee and one for snacks. And it's not two coffee lines. Everyone assumes both lines are for yes. coffee, and there's a lot of confusion of people tapping on the shoulder. Is this for coffee? Yeah. You know, uh, so no, snacks. one's for snacks, and, the snacks and are they're free. complimentary. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So there's a couple of other options we didn't have the opportunity to try. The very first one would be the doghouse. Um, it's hot dogs on the boardwalk. I'm not a huge fan of hot dogs, so yeah, we've really never, and there's so much great food all around the ship that this is just something that unless we were on a transatlantic, it would never, ever, ever happen. Uh, we hear, there's always a line though, and everyone raves about it. So if you're a hot dog lover, this is apparently very, very good because we never saw, uh, we, we honestly never saw uh, with a line shorter than like 20 or 30 people. So yeah, there's obviously, always people in line now. yeah. So that brings us up to the Vitality Cafe. Right, so the Vitality Cafe is located in the spa area, as mm -hmm. you can probably imagine. Uh, they sell smoothies, so they are paid for, but they also have complimentary healthy snacks, mm -hmm. like wraps, fruit, yogurt, that kind of stuff. So it's perfect for a grab-and-go snack after a workout. For sure. Yeah. Up next is the Solarium Bistro. Uh, it's located in the Solarium at the very front of the ship. It's complimentary for breakfast and lunch. It's lighter fare, like right, like yes. soups and crepes and salads. Yeah, it's all and... like a healthy, healthy lifestyle, which is the same for their dinner. Mm -hmm. Now the difference is, is their dinner it does become a specialty restaurant, so mm -hmm. there is a charge for dinner. So it's complimentary breakfast and lunch, and then dinner there is a charge. Um, the dinner is a healthy menu as well. So if you're interested in that, definitely check out the menu. It looks really good. I wish we had a chance to eat here, but we just didn't. We just ran. Out. I mean, literally. Not it, enough days. There's, there's ten day. There's ten restaurants, and we and had seven, seven days. days so. so. I didn't go to math school, but I know for a fact it doesn't work out. Yeah. All right, and then finally, that brings us to the main dining room, something that we did not get a chance to check out at all at on all. Symphony. We did on the Allure. We ate almost yes, exclusively there, and so it was a kind of like polar opposite. Yes. Um, and that's all because of a big thank you to Royal. They invited us to try out all these specialty restaurants that we had no intention of trying out, and then we did, so we ate really good every night. So we had no options of trying out the main dining room. Uh, all I can tell you is that uh, it's, from based on the reviews, it's basically the same as it's been on all other ships. So yeah. if you're an MDR kind of person, it is it's it is what it is, but I can't really have an opinion on it. Never stepped foot <laughs> in it except true. to shoot it, so. That's very true. Uh, but overall, the complimentary dining options on really Symphony good. are amazing. Mm. There's so many of them. Can I get a shout out for that uh, salad with the olives and the <gasps> and the balsamic dressing? And the, oh my gosh, salads, oh, on Park the, Cafe. Oh. Park Cafe are Park so cafe. good. Sorry, I'm hungry, Oh my folks. gosh, well, how about huevos rancheros? Rintero, well, I, mean, I, I don't like huevos rancheros, but their regular breakfast at the place El Loco Fresh was really good. I got regular uh, eggs. I got my regular breakfast. I couldn't complain. I mean, it was just all around just fantastic Ooh, food. And Such that's good complimentary. Food. Yeah, but, you're going to eat good on a, on this ship. But. But. There's another but, side to, to dining on a cruise ship. There is, especially on Symphony. Ooh, wee. So we talked about complimentary. Let's talk about the specialty. So this is all stuff that's an upcharge for mm -hmm. your cruise. Um, now, we mentioned at the beginning there are 10 specialty restaurants in total on Symphony of the Seas, um, and, we, and we didn't get to eat there. We ate, we ate at one every different night, and we didn't get to eat all of them. Yeah, so I mean, that's again, crazy. seven nights. 
Ten uh, restaurants. That's crazy. Uh, before we get talking, Sean did mention a little bit. Had to, we want yeah. to mention again that all these specialty restaurants were gifted to us yeah. by Royal Caribbean. It was really cool. So thank you to Royal Caribbean crew for taking care of us. Um, it was a great. Yeah, great we didn't gift. know about this. This was a. a yeah, we, we got didn't a know. we got a, a letter and a phone call when we were on the ship, and they were like, "Why aren't you eating at our specialty restaurants?" I'm like, well, we we really didn't plan on it. They're like, um, "Change your plans." And yes. so that's what we did. Every night they put us in a new restaurant, and it was. Oh, mm. Oh my gosh. Right, so, so we can talk about it to you guys. Yeah, so, so now we can talk about it. That's talk basically about what it. they wanted us to do is be able to share everything. Yes. Okay, I'm, okay. You're, you're making me hungry. Okay, let's start let's talking talk about the food. About the food. Okay, let's talk about the food. So All the right. very first restaurant first we tried, we actually paid for this one. We it's did. Chops Grill. So I just got done saying we just we didn't pay for anything and now we're talking about paying for well, things. We so did pay what for happened this here? One. Okay, so this one we purchased the key. The uh, that key. was not a gift. We actually no. purchased this by ourselves. Our own money. Uh, we wanted to try out the key for by, for us to, so we could tell our thoughts on it for mm -hmm. you. We actually made an entire video about the key. Just check it if out. you are interested in what the perks are, what the program is, check out the link below. Um, we'll give you a direct link to the key program. And it's a full review, the whole thing. Whole thing. And here's a spoiler: it was worth every, oh, penny. every penny. Oh my gosh, we loved it. So back um, to chops. So I'm back hungry. to chops grill. <laughs> Um, we had lunch at Chops Grill, mm -hmm. and Chops Grill is located in Central Park. Everything was awesome. It was so, so great. Now, this was for lunch, so the menu was pared down, like incredibly pared down from what the normal dinner menu is. Smaller portions. Smaller portions, smaller everything offerings. was smaller, mm -hmm. but it was perfect for lunch. Perfect. And by I mean perfect size, we didn't actually eat dinner that night. <laughs> yeah, we, we were so full that by the time we dinner came stuffed. around, we were like, not gonna happen. Oh my gosh, it was, it was Central, uh, um, uh, Chops Grill is just so amazing. You have to go try it if you want to have a great steak. It's just fantastic. Delicious food all the way around. And next excellent up. service. So next up. Oh, we. Okay. okay. So this is probably Ooh, my favorite restaurant. My favorite too. My it's favorite. It's 150 Central Park. And uh, this was probably not going to be on our list to try if had no, they, had they not asked us to try it. Um, it's located in Central Park. Yep. Uh, the food here, uh, it can only be described as manna from heaven. It's unbelievable. <laughs> It, uh, I've never eaten food that has had that. You know, have you ever seen ratatouille when they eat the food and combine it and all the little shapes <laughs> and colors come up? It was really that kind of an experience. The food yeah. was just next level for me. Yeah, if you, if I would, my suggestion, if you only have one option for a specialty dining meal, oh, yeah. which now they, they do have some unlimited dinings and yeah, stuff. They have some so crazy passes. They now. have some pr 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 pretty crazy packages. But if you only have one option for specialty dining, this would be my choice hands down. For certain. Everything was so fresh and tasted amazing. The atmosphere is super elegant. It's oh, just yeah. a it's just a really great evening. The service is The service so is good. wonderful. I mean, everything is so we actually I felt like a like you feel like a king and queen. Like we had these big chairs to Huge sit in chairs. and you just felt so fancy and you didn't feel like you were on a ship and then you're looking outside to Central Park. It's so cool. So you actually don't feel like you're on a ship at all. And it the head chef so was walking great. around the restaurant, it's not just yeah. to us. It just came up but he did come up to us and talk to us. I mean, it was really cool just to talk to the head chef and uh, he did know I had a, a seafood allergy and wanted to yes. make sure I was okay. That was awesome. Yes. They're, they were very good with so, Sean's seafood. So is it, what's the fun fact about... So there is a fun fact yeah, there is. about uh, 150 Central Park. It is called 150 Central Park because it is exactly 150 meters from the front of the ship. Boom. That is interesting. Oh, yeah. That's very interesting. Now for my runners up, for oh, yeah. my runner up yeah, here, okay. this, 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 this restaurant is near and dear in Ooh. my heart. Yes. Jamie's Italian. Oh my goodness gracious. Ooh. The pasta is so fresh. I'm telling you, oh, I believe my. pasta comes on trees and they're out that back snipping. I'm not from, yes. from vine to table, baby. I know, yes. I know pasta does not come on trees. Please do not, <laughs> do not get upset that I said that. My point is it's so fresh. Oh. It's like you just picked it right off the vine. And, yes. you know, how? Unbelievable oh, pasta. So good. It also is located Ooh. in Central Park. It is, right? It's like yeah. there the, all a lot of the restaurants are located right oh. together in Central mm. Park. And it was everything was just gonna close my eyes and go back there. The mm, appetizers mm, mm. were just oh. amazing. Are you kidding? The pasta was unbelievable and the desserts. Oh my gosh. Though those desserts were just something that just I don't even know where they came from. They're not they cannot be from Earth because no. they were so good. We got to try all three of the desserts yes. that they served. They're like, why one one dessert? Yeah, it was Just try them like, all. bring them all. So we had a lemon meringue, and it was my favorite. It was a lemon meringue cheesecake, I believe. And then Sean really liked the tiramisu. So so good. It so was good. a food coma for real. Oh my gosh, yes. It was uh, so good. I, I honestly believe that we literally sat on a deck chair and just kinda like I think what, we what did. just happened. So I think just we try did. to get some fresh air. It was just so much food. Oh my gosh. Okay, that moves on to a restaurant that's that's so constantly debated. Let's so just talk different. about it. Wonderland. So, so let's Wonderland. talk about this right here and right now. It's not a burger joint. It's not a steak joint. It's not a place where you get it's your, your Italian. It's not, not pasta. Italian. So if you're looking for the typicals, the the, the the it's not it's not a Chinese restaurant. It's not you know, 
it, it, it's not a grill. It, it's 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 so beyond anything that you could explain. It's just weird. It's so, weird. So if yes. you're not down with the weird and you're not really willing to to spend a, a, one of your nights at the weirdness, uh, <laughs> yes. then then skip on to our next one. But but here's the deal. Wonderland is so wonderfully bizarre that it's actually worth it. It is. It's actually worth it. Now, and it's I've, really weird. It is very strange. So Sean's more adventurous when it comes to food. Um, right. I am not. She I, is. I'm that not is an adventurous understatement. at all. Um, I definitely would not have, have come here if it was not offered we, we to us. We debated it all We so saw the long. menu. I was like, I just don't. Th none of this stuff makes sense in my head. I'm sure none you of said can't menu. and then won't. Yeah, I think that might have been <laughs> some of the things can't, I said. Won't. Um, the menu just looked so strange. Bizarre. It did not seem like my cup of tea at all. Mm -mm. Um, but at the end, I loved it. It was so, so good. I mean, I ate so food good. that I never would think of eating, like caviar, which I can't even believe that I actually tasted because I never thought that in a million years, but it was all fantastic. So let's explain talk about the how process. it works. Yeah, yeah. Work. okay. So it's, a, it's not like your typical restaurant. It's they not. do. Given the number of complaints and just worries that they have, they do start off the process give, out of character explaining to you how it works. Yes. I appreciate it. I don't want that, but I understand it's necessary, so I can't complain about it. So what they do is they tell you, look, here's the deal. You're basically going to get served. You don't really get a choice, right? I will. They will ask you this. Do you have any allergies? And they were very aware of my seafood allergy. I can't stress this enough that somehow my stuff is flagged, and they were they're like, sir, we it's know. On our, it's on your account if yeah. you mark it down. And they, and they bring it to your attention. Not all their cruise ships do that. Yes. you know. So I was really happy that they keep bringing it up. Like, oh, by the way, we know you're, you're, you have a strong seafood allergy. Yeah. We're going to modify uh, one of the courses. I can't have it all, so they modified for me. But he explains that it's basically kind of the situation is you're going to eat what we provide, and this is how it is. You're not going to get a, a burger or chicken tenders here. This is not how we roll, right? And, so, and he's very careful to explain it. And then, but, but at the same breath, he's like, this is going to be, you're going to thank me for it. This, the yes. server was so kind and wonderful. Just like, come with me, trust me. I promise you, it's not that big of a deal. It's going to be okay. Yeah. And yeah, so, they, they do ask you your likes and dislikes. Yeah, they do ask you your um, likes and dislikes. Like, if you absolutely hate something, they will like swap something like out for fish. you. Yeah. So I didn't do fish, minus the caviar and everything else. I don't do fish, fish. Um, so they, that was something I was like, no, I don't want that. And he and was cool like, with Fine. that. Yeah, they were cool with that. But the rest of the the rest of the process is basically we serve you these these things that the, dishes that, that's supposed no, I wouldn't call them dishes. <laughs> I'm not sure anything was served in a dish. It was just, you know, it was just, it's just, here's something that we're calling food. It's edible, right? Like so, the food comes out in forms that you just yeah. would never understand. Like Sean had clear tomato soup in a test tube. I did a shot of tomato soup from a test tube, from a test tube. It was very strange. Yes. Very um, post-apocalyptic. So weird. My advice, if you go here, which you will not be disappointed no, is a fantastic experience, yeah. is just close your eyes and eat what they serve you. Yeah. Let the flavor sort of, you know, meander in your mouth and sort of understand what's going on. Yeah. It's just a fantastic experience, especially for culinary people who like those different experiences. I mean, definitely thumbs up from us. Everything was well. Oh, and the Mad Hatter. Yes. I mean, so oh there's, my gosh. The Mad Hatter's there and, uh, and he was awesome and he was very, very friendly and kind of helped uh, make stuff a little less uncomfortable about yeah. about trying the food. Everybody there is like really much like, come on. There is, there's no pressure whatsoever. There's no they're pressure, all they're all no. very cool, but playfully they're like, hey, come on, you know, just go ahead and drink that <laughs> test tube of tomatoes. That's totally yeah. something that happens every day. Eat the blue yeah. pill, not yeah. the red yeah. pill. I think yeah. I took both I think pills. that is actually they have a drink called yeah. the blue pill and the red pill. That's true. They had that, <laughs> and I took, and we we had both. It was awesome. They do. So um, also something that you definitely have to try are the desserts. Um, oh, we've had some people gosh. say that you can actually go just get the desserts. Yes, so one of you our, can do that. One of our fans yeah. is, is went in and ordered, Justin went in and yes. ordered just dessert so and they, that is they hooked fantastic. them up, so that's cool. They have things like a poison apple oh my and gosh. mushrooms. The desserts are insane. I mean, you just have mm. this chocolate globe thing. It's mm. just every dessert is, is amazing. So, so good. Okay, so All this, right. this next restaurant's a point of contention for us it both. Is. We do not agree. Usually we we're pretty, pretty much on the same page. This we are polar opposites, so... I'm gonna let you start with Izumi. Okay, so Izumi is located on deck four. Mm -hmm. It's tucked away. It's right next to the silk main dining room. Yeah, just look for the suit of armor, basically. Yes, there are two parts to Izumi. There is a Japanese steakhouse, which is your traditional Japanese steakhouse with the grill where they cook everything in front of you, the show and all that stuff. Same, I mean, we walk by it at the same as you would find on any ship or mm -hmm. any actually in any land-based Japanese steakhouse. The other side is a, su is a sushi bar with a full service Asian sit-down restaurant mm -hmm. meal. Um, so it's really kind of three restaurants in it's one. It's kind of three, yeah. So um, it was my least favorite. Wasn't bad. Just my least favorite. Um, Sean doesn't have that same opinion. So I'll tell my opinion first. Um, it was okay. The food was just okay to me. We had appetizer was good. We had udon noodles with steak and chicken. It was just okay. It was kind of bland to me. I didn't really, really enjoy it. Now, the one thing that I really did enjoy was dessert. 
Um, it was my first time I got to try mochi balls. Oh, the mochi and balls. And if you don't know what a mochi ball it is, it's basically the best little ice cream ball on the planet. It's an ice cream ball little wrapped with, <laughs> with dough that they fry and then they freeze it. And it's amazing. It's just like, oh. They actually sell it at grocery stores too that somebody also pointed out. Not as out. good. Not, Not as, as good. good, but it does give you that little fix if you're looking for a little mochi ball fix. Um, so besides the mochi balls, for me, I wouldn't recommend this restaurant. I wouldn't pay to eat here. This would be one that I would skip. It wasn't my favorite, and I just really didn't like the food. And there are other restaurants that I really liked more. So Okay. <laughs> so based on what she just said, coupling with that, there are so many amazing specialty dining restaurants that this is kind of like second string. That's why I believe Stephanie doesn't like it. It was very good for what it was. And I have said this before, I, I, I even told Royal this, if you took this restaurant, pulled it off of Symphony and put it on any other cruise ship that doesn't have as many offerings, it would be a rock star. The problem is, Azumi is not as big of a rock star as 150 Central Park, Hooked, or Jamie's Italian, or any of these other specialty restaurants that are truly special. Unfortunately, there's nothing very special about an Asian restaurant. You find them on almost all ships, if not all the ships. There's almost always a teppanyaki. There's almost always a sushi bar somewhere, right? So getting Asian food on a cruise ship is pretty standard fare, and it was really delicious. I was not, I did not go home hungry. I did not regret the meal at all, but it was very standard fare. So it's nothing to write home about compared to all the other restaurants. So. Basically, I would say Izumi would be awesome on any other ship, but it's pretty standard on this ship. I don't know how you make uh, Asian cuisine more special or, or better. I, I don't I don't know, but it, it was very tasty. It was very good. But again, it just paled in comparison to all the other the meals and stuff. Uh, it, uh, the presentation and stuff wasn't what, what we had just been inundated with stuff like 150 and, and Jamie's Italian with That's all this true. amazing presentation and all this huge food and just over the top sensory, that's you true. know, I'll and, give you that. and here at Izumi, it was just like, Hey, welcome to our Asian restaurant. It's like, oh, okay. That's true. So that's why I think so it, again, there's so many restaurants that this would be on my second list of things to do if I had already covered all my favorites. So yeah, I agree with Stephanie. It wouldn't, it's not my first, but I would absolutely pay for it. It's It's worth the money. I think. There you go. All right. So, so differing opinions. moving on to the restaurant that would have made me a ghost is hooked. Oh my gosh. So first we have to say, this is a restaurant that we never, and I do mean close. never would eat here because of Sean's allergy. Wouldn't think of it. I love shellfish. I absolutely love it. Um, I don't eat it because of Sean is allergic to it. So we would never try this, but we were reassured by the head chef that Royal takes allergies very, very seriously mm -hmm. and that they would like me to eat there and they have a special menu for Sean. Um, that was fantastic. We were like, Okay, here's crossing the fingers. <laughs> we're, was, here's crossing the fingers. I was scared all day. It was it was a pretty stressful day. Yeah, the whole day we were like, oh my gosh, we have hooked tonight. We have hooked tonight. And so, yeah, but everything happened. You know the best part of the night? I'm Sean not a ghost. didn't die. Yeah, I'm not a ghost. I'm here. So. <laughs> he didn't die. He did not die. His menu was amazing. Yeah, and it was it, so it, good. It wasn't like I got some weird kid menu or like no, some kind of a no. shut up menu. The, the food was so, so, so good. So good. Oh. And it is the best seafood that I've ever had. Um, I've had a lot of lobsters in my time, and this was the best. Hands down, was prepared perfectly. Perfect. Everything was perfect. The whole meal was perfect from start to finish, appetizers to dessert. It was so, so good. Um, but I was so happy that I was able to enjoy, and Sean was also able to enjoy a fantastic meal. Not Delightful. like he said, not something thrown together. Like here's your here's your house salad and yeah, here's steak. Yeah, I, I often get the shut up salad. <clears throat> yeah, you know, they're just like, okay, I get it. You're you've you're, you've got allergies and problems, so here's your shut up salad. I, that's I, I'm nor, I'm used to that, right? Yes. I, I don't like it, but I'm used to it. And, and here was a completely different. The, the executive chef was like, no, 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 no. That was really nice. Yeah, it was. That was so good. All right, so that brings us to the rest. So that's the restaurants that we did try. That was our yeah. seven that we tried. Um, the restaurants that we didn't get a chance to try that they still have on board. The first one would be Vintage's Wine and Bar. I really want to try this. It looks amazing. Yeah, they have a wonderful tapas menu. Mm. Um, it's a really cool location in Central Park. It's just this really nice, quiet area. It's dark, and they have all this wine so and this beautiful. food. I mean, it's amazing. Uh, second would be the Solarium Bistro, like mm -hmm. we mentioned. Um, they have the great healthy options for dinner. We didn't get to try that. Nope. We also didn't get to try Playmakers, which has great pub food. Yeah. Um, Again, if it was on any other ship, it would be a rock right. star. But yeah. when you're being outshined so heavily by these other restaurants, I'm never going to get a chance to do the pub. So unless I do a transatlantic or some kind of 25 or world or 25 day or world cruise, I'm never going to get to see these places. That's true. And the last place is Johnny Rockets. Yeah. Now we have Johnny Rockets here in Orlando. Everywhere. Um, they're everywhere, so it's not really special for us to go on the ship and have Johnny it's even Rockets. Even in our mall. <laughs> yeah, it's in the mall. But they do have great diner food. So yeah. if you're in the mood for a great
great burger, fries, milkshake. Mm -hmm. uh, we never had room to eat there because oh, we gosh. don't. We typically don't eat lunches or we no. eat something very, very small because we had these amazing dinners coming up. So oh, yeah. we didn't eat at Johnny Rockets, but we did eat at Johnny Rockets on Allure of the Seas and it was great. It was great. Loved it. it tastes just like Johnny Rockets. <laughs> yeah, it did. So what are your thoughts on the specialty dining? Um, That's the end. The yeah. specialty dining... The specialty dining uh, for me is one of the reasons why I, I will happily sail uh, Symphony of the Seas time and time again. If somebody called me up and says, I have tickets for you on Symphony tomorrow, I would not hesitate. I absolutely loved the food. It'd be the a food. dust trail. Oh my gosh. There'd be a Sean-shaped <laughs> hole in the wall. Yes. I wouldn't even use the door. The food is... I can confidently say after so many ships and so many days at sea, did 100 days at sea recently. I don't know if you've seen the video, but we did 100 days at sea in the last year, by the way. Um, it is the best food I've had um, in terms of specialty dining. It's just the food stays with you. It's memorable. I've, I've eaten at so many ship restaurants that they all kind of blur together. Symphony never once blurred together. It was all phenomenal food. Uh, you can tell what you can tell when the chefs are, have passion and when they don't. I ate some vegan food throughout the trip, and the vegan food was delightful. Oh, so good. Vegan food is either hit or miss. There is nothing in between, so and it was delicious. Steph liked it, and she does yeah, not like it. it so, was so good. So you can really tell that uh, across the board, Royal has passionate people in the positions that, yep. that they need to have. So. I would recommend the food on Symphony of the Seas as, in my humble opinion, it, it's better than anything else on, on the ship. Maybe except maybe the entertainment, but it, it, gosh. It is the best. I mean, I agree with all of that. I think that um, especially it's Vegas quality. It is like going For to sure. Vegas every to a different restaurant every night in Vegas um, and having that same quality on the ship. Yeah, and it was amazing. We've never experienced that. We've had some amazing meals on other ships and they're fantastic, but mm -hmm. this one was like over the top. Like Sean said, so memorable. Um, I, I can I can tell you right now, like I can almost taste most of the meals that we ate because I remember them all. Yeah, and I can't so tell you good. most meals that we've had. No, I, I can't mean, that's either. Crazy. I have to watch the vlog for crying out. I can't tell you yeah. what we ate on day three of blah yeah. blah. No, no but I can I'll always remember Symphony of the Seas. Yeah, me too. All right, so moving right along, like I said, the food, especially dining is, is my, my favorite. This is coupled with this next section right now. Yes. The entertainment on board oh. is second to gosh. none. Oh my, oh my gosh, I want to just sneak onto this ship and live there. I want a job at Royal just so I can listen to the music. I'm a music fiend and these musicians like are all near and dear to my heart. Every single musician on board, every single performer on board, every single everybody on board is top notch. Top and I'm not saying that, I'm not being paid to say this. I'm just saying you've got your typical cruise fair of performers across the world and then you've got Royal Caribbean and that's yes. just how it is. Yes. Um, I would agree. Uh, the fantastic—it's just the entertainment so fantastic. Let's start with the Broadway show. Yeah, first of all, these are and and, and this, this is not saying the phrase Broadway show. No. I love how a lot of people are like Broadway style shows, Vegas style show. No, this no, is this from is Broadway. This is not style. This is a Broadway show. This is a show. Broadway production. Yeah, the people, the actors and performers in this show are actually from Broadway. Mm. They show their bios up on the screen when you're in the theater before the show starts, and it tells you all of their, basically their resume is up there, and they tell you everything that they've done, and it, they're all professional. Yep. And, it, and they all have lengthy resumes. Yes. So we saw Hairspray, mm, and so it good. was so good. Sean doesn't even like Hairspray as the movie, uh, but he absolutely loved the play. Yeah, like, let, me, let, me just, let me just throw this out there. I'm not a play kind of guy. Allure no. changed me. I'm just not a play kind of guy. I'd rather do other things with my time, and Royal continually reminds me that they, they are the exception to my rule. So, yes, thank you, Royal, for letting me know that, once again, I can be entertained <laughs> by a stage show. And, gosh, it was really, really good. Yeah, it was so fun. They have a live orchestra, which yeah. always adds to that, the... That seals the deal it for does. me. It does. It's so good. It was just a really fun night, like seriously fun night. And then, not only does it stop with your Broadway show that you get on board... What about the in-house shows? In-house shows. They have their own production team, they like do. all their cruise ships, and they just take it up another notch. It's like, we got to see Flight, which is so their in-house production, and it's basically the concept is that they take you through the development of aviation. Right. Um, all the scenes have a different song, and so you go through aviation scenes, and it's really, really cool. Yeah, cool acrobatic cool yeah. performances um i will say this um for people who are looking for a linear story they, a story. they jump around uh, yeah. yeah so it's really more about each individual scene talking about the overall theme of flight but it's worth seeing they've got crazy theatrics they've got crazy lighting lighting packages once again royal has just decided that we're not going to be uh, you know uh, we're not going to be destroyed by anybody on land or at sea. We are really going to take a step and show you what we're all about. And I've never been disappointed with any of their stage shows. Never. I mean, they're so good, which leads us into the next show. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Just we're not stopping the ice skating show. Insane. So we ended up missing the ice skating show because we yep. ended up watching an impromptu diving show. Mm -hmm. We personally like diving over ice skating. Um, but let's just let this sink in. There is an ice skating rink 
on the cruise ship. Yeah, and then there's an entire what? Broadway quality show, yes. in-house production show on the ice. And it's awesome. I've seen, uh, I've seen, seen it online. Seen we video, really, yeah. really want to see it again. This ship is so big, you have to make sacrifices no you matter do. what you do. And it's just one of those things where you're going to miss something. And that's one thing that we missed. But we will not miss it on our next row. No, cruise. it has to. Yeah, it's, we it's, have to go have see to. it. We, I'm really excited about it. So, so that brings us to our, one of our favorite shows. The yes. thing I like actually a little bit more than the stage shows, just by like a fraction of a percentage. And that's the Aqua Theater. They have dive shows. I mean, it's a dive theater. Diving. I mean, I, can't, I haven't seen dive shows since I was a kid, you know, uh, like yes. Silver Springs or whatever. This yeah. is incredibly crazy. Yeah, they're all Olympics. They're all from the Olympics, most of the divers. And it's just unbelievable. We watched Hero, mm -hmm. which is their big professional um, acrobatic lights, costumes, all this stuff. It's so crazy. Gorgeous. Um, I mean, it just you feel like you're watching a Cirque show uh -huh. and it's, it's, it's in the dive theater. I mean, can you imagine diving from a platform on a cruise ship that's moving at the same time? That's just a crazy thought. To so me. it's not just a dive show. That's the one thing I love about Royal is, yes. you know, they could easily just have divers dive and have a narrator and be, be done. No, they've got gymnasts. They've got, they do. they've got synchronized swimming. They've, yes. they've got all kinds. They've got specialty acts like balancing and just really crazy tightrope stuff. And, and spinning and jumping. And it's just like, there's just so many amazing people doing so many amazing things. It's kind of overwhelming and I love it. It was so great. We actually also got to see a special showing of a new show called mm -hmm. Aqua Nation, yep. which is why we missed the ice skating show. And Aqua Nation was kind of just a combination of everything that, that they do in Hero put together in a different kind of way. Different, a different format, show, more fun, form. more upbeat. Yeah. Lots it was of singing really, and dancing really and clapping. Cool, definitely recommend that. Go see the dive shows. It's definitely not to be missed. Yeah, I, I, if you're going to skip a show, try not to do the dive show. Uh, try not to skip the dive show. They're just phenomenal. They are. And so that brings us to Sean's My favorite, favorite topic. Part. Okay. The live music <laughs> is second to none on this ship. I've, I, I, you say Royal to me, and I'm immediately going to go into live music. I mean, like, like Stephanie said, there's a live orchestra in the stage shows. That yeah. right there changes everything. And that same orchestra plays in the boardwalk. They play in Jazz on Four. We got to see them in this super casual scene where Jazz on Four is what? Maybe a couple hundred people can yeah, fit in there at the really most. Small. And there's this full orchestra. And then they, the second they start playing, they remind you exactly what it is that they do for a living at a yep. level of exception. It's just wow. From the person playing a guitar in the bar all the way up to the full orchestra and back, everybody in between, the, the piano and the violin in Central Park, everything is unbelievable and at the highest level of musicianship. So I could stay on a royal ship and just eat good food and listen to good music and be content. Dazzles? I mean, come on. Ugh. Oh, Dazzles. Everything. So great. Ugh, it's just gosh. so overall for entertainment, it's just the best at sea. Uh, yeah. We haven't seen any other entertainment as good as the entertainment on Royal Caribbean. No, not even um, close. On Symphony of the Seas takes the cake. It is the best of the best. The best musicians, the best everything, performers, actors. It's just fantastic. So if all you do, if you're the type of person that just goes to Vegas for the shows and the food, you could go on Symphony for the shows, the food, and have a new location to go to. You will you feel at home it. on Symphony. Yeah, sure. I mean, it's just, it's fantastic. Oh, okay. So all that entertainment Oof. takes us to the next topic, which are the complimentary activities oh my on board. Now yeah, I did say complimentary. Yeah, hit the pause button real quick and let's let's decipher what you just said so, there. Complimentary, let me just clarify, this means it's included with the price of your ticket. You don't have to pay anything extra, nothing. Then it's this all is another. Included. This is another differentiator this for is Royal. Another differentiator. Other cruise lines would charge you for every yes. single one of these things, and you don't get. There's no charge. No. So the very first thing, probably the most uh, famous thing on Royal ships sure. would be Flowrider. Absolutely. Um, if you don't know what Flowrider is, it's a surfing simulator. It's basically a big wave of water that you get to practice kneeboarding and and, and uh, bodyboarding and surfing. They actually have surf lessons and all that stuff. It's really really cool. All right, number two. They have a zip line. What? Yep. So the entire center of the ship is gutted out like a like a hot potato. And and <laughs> what what do you do over that giant hole? Well, you zip line. So, yep. yep, that's right. They have a zip line that's complimentary, included in your price. All you have to do is just show up, sign the waiver, you can go and as many jump. Times you want. You can go all day long. Yeah. It's fantastic. Next up is mini golf. Of course, a lot of ships have mini golf. They theirs is of no exception. They have a really cool location. They have really cool uh, options. Um, and it's it's spread out, which I love. A lot of the mini golf is really compact. This one's yes. spread out. You can get a little bit of breathing room, a little bit of elbow room. Welcome to the biggest cruise ship in the world. We don't necessarily have to put you on top of each other, and I appreciate yes. that. Um, but so this brings us to the 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 thing. The thing. The thing. The thing. What thing is that? Oh, you tell me. <laughs> We're talking about the abyss. Oh, yeah. So the abyss is the big purple slide at the back of the ship. It is one of the most famous Royal Caribbean aerial shots. You see the, the fish head and the purple slide. Um, it is a dry slide. Mm -hmm. One of the things that you, if you're interested in going on the abyss, you have to wear sleeves. You cannot be uh, in a tank top. I do know that. Uh, but I would like to say it is not as scary as it looks. 
it did take me a long time to conquer the abyss, um, but it is not as scary as you look as it looks. Uh, one thing that I will say is there's two things actually I will say. It is makes you dizzy because you are spinning down the slide. So if you get motion sickness easy, uh, take that into consideration. I wore my my C bands mm -hmm. on the second time and I was perfectly fine. Uh, I had to keep them on for a little bit after. The other thing would be if you are claustrophobic. It's tight, it's like tight. really tight. It's really, really small space. You basically are laying on your back um, and going down the slide. Yeah. So it's kind of, I mean, it is, it's a small space. So keep that in mind uh, while you're doing it, but it is so much fun and definitely, definitely worth a try. What's funny is I was at the bottom of the slide waiting for Stephanie and you could hear her screaming for the, <laughs> yeah, that's true. For the duration of the, of, <laughs> of the slide. It was quite funny. Everyone's all, <laughs> Because you know, everybody does it. Um, that brings us up to the rock climbing wall. Something I really, really want to do, and I don't ever get to do, um, because but maybe next time. Maybe next time. Yeah. Uh, Stephanie is just not has no interest, and we <laughs> we just have a lot of stuff to do. So we, I do, mean, we are doing a lot. It's not. It's not like we're sitting around going, man. I wish I had something to do right now. So yeah, the, it is huge on massive, Symphony. I mean, massive. it's probably the largest rock climbing wall I think I've ever seen. I want to try it. I've it never looks tried really, one. really cool. Maybe yeah. on the next in the next cruise we'll have to do that. Yeah, absolutely. Very, very cool. All right, that brings us up to ice skating. Stephanie had an interesting time ice skating. It was actually probably more interesting for me to watch it than for her to do it. So why don't you uh, go ahead and just explain how ice skating works here so, on a cruise ship. Ice skating, it's an ice rink, as we've already said, they ship. have an ice skating shows um, that you get to participate in. They have public ice skating times. Remember, those are free. They don't have to cost anything. Like adult swim, um, but with Like skates. adult swim. Uh, you do have to wear long pants. Yep. That is a requirement. And of course, bring your own socks. You need those as well, because you're wearing skates. It's gross. Um, the rink is very small. Yeah. I will say that. I, mean, I think yeah. it was it was much harder to skate than on regular ice. Oh yeah. So I don't know what it is, but it's not regular ice. I think I don't know. It's it's just not regular. It's like ice and mud or ice and quicksand. Yeah, it, it's, it's just it's hard. It was really difficult to skate. If if any of you have been to to any of those skating things in Florida during Christmas, it does not get cold enough to sustain ice, folks. We have the same thing where it's kind of like. It's like a plastic. It's like a plastic thing with some like, kind of a sealant, or, or like some kind of. Uh, I know it's a, some kind of ice. Yeah. But it's, it's not like it's not. ice skating, so it's difficult. I don't think I would do it again. Um, one time was good for me. I was like, okay, I did one lap around. I was like, my legs are going to fall off. I was that, so much worse. That work. makes me respect the ice skating show people yes, even more though, for crying I mean, out loud. I, I think that if you had a fresh, if they, because I know they have a zamboni that comes around. If you had a fresh surface. I think it might be easier, but Maybe. it was still very difficult, but definitely try it. Um, I mean, how many times can you say you, you skate it in the middle of the ocean? Yeah, it's, it's worth mean, it just on. to say that you went Bragging ice skating in, in the Grand Caymans <laughs> or whatever. Uh, that brings us to the same room, but a different room. A different activity, which yes. was laser, laser tag. tag. Pew, pew. They turned the ice rink into a laser tag arena. Yep. Basically with blow up walls. Um, it's a lot of it's fun. It's a blow up arena. It's, it's a huge. Blow up arena. It's huge. Um, Make reservations. That's a yeah. re that's a recommendation for us. We did not know that you could make a reservation for this. They don't really advertise that. Um, I think you can make reservations in the attic, which is right next to the ice skating rink on deck four. Uh, we were we stood in the standby line and we barely made it in. We were the second to last couple yep. to make it through the door. There were about forty people behind us who didn't actually at get the very to go. least, and they don't handle it no. all that great because you know you've got this poor crew member who isn't really informed on what to do with all these people. And when they finally realized that they were done, and I'll tell you why, uh, they ended up having to walk to the back of this line and say the following people, you're not getting in. And, they yeah. were, and, and these people had not just gotten in line. We so, were in line for about an hour and a half, two hours. So the sweet guests and the people, other people who make reservations, um, they get a lot of things extended to them, courtesies. Yes. That, so they should, all showed up incredibly late. And there's only a small window of time. So when everybody who has reservations shows up late, they get they bump the standby people. And we we rapidly saw us with all the chance in the world to play. Wow, it's getting tight. Oh my gosh, we're, we've been waiting here over an hour and we're not going to get to play to you're the second to last people to make the cut. It's like, yeah. wow. So save yourself all that hassle make and work it out online. Yeah, good yeah. gracious. Uh, make a reservation. I know you can do it online. Um, mm -hmm. they said, I, I didn't uh, see it, but yeah. if you can make they a reservation They claim that you can online, do it online. We didn't know. So. Go to the attic on day one and make your reservation mm -hmm. um, for that. I, was gonna say, I would recommend this for all ages. Yeah, it's fine. Grandma, grandpa, aunt, uncle. It's not intense. It's not intense. You, you don't have to run around. You can just stand there and walk around. Actually, there was people. only like two or three people out actually running and everyone's kind of looking at them. I like, was laughing at those yeah. people. It's not, it's it's not, not big it's enough. Not it's not big. big enough to get up to speed no. in any situation. It's not, a, it's, it's not an intense environment. It's just fun. It's just fun. It's just fun. Pew, pew. So bring your family, bring everybody, bring yeah. the whole family. You know what it's else just is fun, fun though? What? The carousel. Oh my God. The carousel is fun. The carousel is so fun. Like carousel. 
on a ship. On a cruise I ship. I mean, what? And it's not small. It's not small. It is fantastic. It's complimentary, so go as many times as you want. Like we've already it. said, I've been on it a bunch of times. Actually, we stayed on it at one point. We did. At one so point, there's no line. They'll let you stay on, yeah, which is cool. really, really fun. So definitely try that out. I mean, again, for the whole family, get the best picture ever. Um, it's oh my just, gosh, It yes. would be the best thing. So definitely try that. And it's you get free. the classic bell sounds, and you yeah. really feel like you're on a boardwalk. You really, truly forget you're on, you're on a cruise ship. Yeah, that's very true. Okay. So that was a lot, Goodness right? Gracious. Oh my gosh, Goodness gracious. so much. But let's not forget about the amazing bars and lounges. There are 42 of them. I'm sorry, what? 42. Okay. Now, we are not going to go through 42 different bars I'm and lounges. I'm not sure we did anything in 42 bars and lounges. I don't think we lounges. did that many, no. <laughs> but they are there, so yep. there's definitely plenty of room to you know hang out at night and chill and relax and find your special spot. Now, there is one thing, one, one bar, one lounge that, that we definitely have to point For out. For sure. That's the Bionic Bar. Oh, come on now. In the promenade. Can you explain what the Bionic Bar is? We're, we live in the future. I got a drink served to me by a robot. A robot. robot that used to make a car for a living is now serving my drink. This is crazy town. So yeah, it was totally worth it. It's, you know, it's a gimmicky and, you know, it is what it is when it comes to the the quality of the craftsmanship of the drink. I mean, it is what it is, you know, so you don't have 25 years of experience downloaded into this machine. It just makes drinks and it's a little bit messy. They're so, a little messy. but it's super, super fun. And again, it's a unique experience. You don't get to have a robot serve you a drink every day, I guess, unless you work there. So, you know, it was one of those things where it's just like, that's another thing I get to tweet or Instagram about just, hey, this is kind of cool. I yeah. have a, a robot make me a drink. So I, I recommend it once, you know. Yeah, I recommend it for one yeah. drink. It's fun it's to fun. pick your drink yeah. and try it out. It's just fun. It's just fun. Yeah. Okay, so we do have a couple honorable mentions on Symphony that we want to talk sure. about. Now, these two things do have a charge. There is mm -hmm. an extra charge associated. The first thing is the arcade. So much fun. It's huge. It's huge. Like, there's every game that you can possibly imagine. Oh, Pac-Man Smash? Pac-Man Smash. And I will have to say, because there's so much stuff going on around the ship, it's it was never crowded never. ever when we were yeah. there. Uh, we went on port days. We went on sea days. There was never anybody in there. It was, it was, it was fantastic. Yeah, so it was really good. It was, it was just so great. The second thing that we have to give an honorable <laughs> mention to would be Sugar Beach. Pretty so. sure when the doors open, I think you drop to your knees and thank you, I'm in heaven. You know, and hands to the sky, rays coming down from oh, above. So many ship snacks oh in one place. So I believe there are over 200 different kinds of candy in Sugar oh, Beach. Yes. It's so great. It's one of those things where you pick the bag and you put your candy in. Mm -hmm. It's like my favorite you place pay, ever. You pay by the weight you of the candy. You pay by the yep. weight. They also have ice cream there. So definitely go check that out. We definitely recommend it. Oh, it's insane. It, we had a little, we got a little bit of bag, but a, a little bag of, of snacks to go around. And it was cool just to have a little ship snacks while you're watching. Yeah. We watched a, a rehearsal of a dive show. We just sat there, had, had our, our ship snacks. And it was a great place to just chill and just going like, well, we're getting a free dive show and having some really great candy. So, you know, how could you hate that? And that leads us to all the wows. All the wows. Symphony is just seriously all the wows. I mean, how many back-to-back -back cruises would you need to experience every single thing? And all on honestly, this cruise probably ship? three, three to four at, at the least. most. You'd have to cruise oh for a gosh. month to really get everything. I mean, I feel like we we skimmed the surface, but we I know did. exactly what I'd go back and do right here, right now. Somebody put me on the symphony because I'm dying to go back. <laughs> um, it was our favorite cruise so far that for we've sure. ever been on. For sure. It was just the. You should say favorite overall cruise. Yeah, overall. We cruise. have favorites of other little things everywhere, but overall. This is definitely our favorite cruise. It was perfect all the way around. Yeah. You just don't get trips like that. Nope. Um, everything from start to finish was perfect. And that's unusual. I mean, because something always goes wrong or something happens. You have to you yeah, sort of you be like, know. okay, that's fine. But this was perfect. Everything perfect. was perfect. Perfect. Best food, best entertainment. I did not have a bad night at all. Never had a, you know, like we said, the worst thing was people being jerky in the elevators. Yeah. Well, that's not unique to this particular ship. No, so it's not. that always happens. Always happens. So overall thoughts. I love it. I mean, it was perfect. We had the best time. We had the best experiences. I want to go back on it tomorrow. I've, and I, I, I don't really say that about a lot. I mean, I want to go back on another I ship. I mean, we always want to cruise. We always want to travel, sure. But, but. I, I don't want to experience the same exact ship again. And this one I do. I yeah. want to go back on and do it again and do it again. It's like going to Vegas. I want to go back to Vegas and do Vegas and Vegas and Vegas. And it's the same thing. So I think if you're looking for a ship that has something to do that you can go on a couple times, three, four times and never do it all, this is the ship for you. Yeah. If you're looking for, like Stephanie said, this is really comparable to a Vegas vacation. You've got really great food, really great entertainment, fantastic drinks, 
and it's not one or two options. You've got just so many options. You're not going to have a chance. I don't care who you are. You're just not going to get it all done. It's not possible. And that's a lovely thing because repeatability is a lovely thing. Maybe you like the crew yep. on that ship and you want to go back, right? But if, if they didn't have anything else to go back to, you're kind of, some people can feel like, well, I'm having a stagnant vacation. Well, this yep. is going to be different every time. And uh, it's just so much to do. I mean, I know, I know for a fact, like we missed on, on, on Allure, I, I, I spent a lot of time in Dazzles. We spent a lot of time in Dazzles and I loved it. We missed Dazzles on uh, Symphony because of how much there is to do. And I love the live music. So it's one of those things where I know for a fact that we'd carve out time for that and other things as well. Um, like Stephanie said, it's one of those ships that are, we always want to sail. We always want to travel. But this one, I would go right back on. And yes. I can't say that about a lot of ships, but this one for sure. By far the best uh, cruise we've ever had. And if I called what we did a vacation, it's absolutely the best vacation I think we've had in a long I time. I agree. Yep. All right, so that's our review of Symphony of the Seas. Ooh, we it was it. such a great day. It was such a great, great trip. I mean, oh. it was just a fantastic trip. Best. If you like this review, go ahead and share it with anyone who loves Royal Caribbean. Yeah, and if you know someone who's going on Symphony or has been on Symphony, go ahead and send it to them. So let's see what they think about it. Yeah, and if you're interested in our full vlog series, our entire trip on Royal Caribbean Symphony of the Seas, check out the link below. It's right down there. You can check out oh, all of our you know days. We, do. we have right all eight down days. There, from, down there. From yeah. embarkation to disembarkation, we have every single day. Everything we just talked right. about, we did it. That's right. You get to see it all. See it oh, all. Yeah. If you like this video, we would love you to death if you give us the, one of those big thumbs ups right down there. Go ahead and click that thumbs up. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button. That way you can see more of our cruise reviews, our vlogs, our five things. We have so much stuff. Come on. So now. much stuff. Oh Smash that subscribe button for me, Smash please. It. Thank you. As always, thank you so much for watching, guys. We are Sean and Steph, and this what has what? been our full review of Symphony of the Seas. Loving it. Bye. Bye.